Hey guys, it's Jen here from Jen Around the World, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own cold brew coffee concentrate. Now, at our house, we love coffee year-round, whether it's hot or it's cold. My daughter and my husband both prefer cold coffee. Me, I'm a hot coffee girl, so because they love cold brew, we learned how to make it at home ourselves, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your very own. So let's get started. Okay. Before I show you the actual recipe, I'm going to tell you there's two different kinds of ways that you can do this. I had a reader uh, write in and ask me if you could use fresh ground coffee, and yes you can. We always keep fresh roasted beans on hand because that's my preferred coffee to drink. Um, we get ours from our local coffee shop, Parcells Perks, and what I do is I just use a medium grind. You can buy these. Um, grinders on <clears throat> Amazon. So what you can do is you can just put your beans in here and put it on a medium grind. You have three different grinds, coarse, fine, and medium. And fine is for espresso, medium is for this cold brew coffee concentrate, and then coarse is for another type of coffee, but I never use coarse. So if you're going to use fresh ground beans, uh, grind it to a medium grind. Now if you are using store-bought coffee, just get just a regular can of coffee. I like the breakfast blend from Kroger. And then there's the Guatemalan coffee from Aldi. Like there's all different kinds of brands you can use. Just whatever is your favorite supermarket coffee, that's what you can use because it's already at a medium grind. So now that you know which coffee you can use, let me show you the recipe. Now that you have all your coffee and all your water in your jar, you're going to put this on your countertop and let it sit overnight. And then the next day, you can either leave all the coffee in there, which is what my daughter does, and then strain it off as you want to use it. It makes a more intense coffee flavor, or you can strain it right away and just put the coffee concentrate in your fridge. So we're going to let this sit overnight, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now your cold brew concentrate has sat on the counter for 24 hours, and now we're going to drain out the coffee grounds and put the liquid in the refrigerator. So this is how I do it. You take just a strainer, and you, if you have cheesecloth, you can use that, but if you don't have cheesecloth, you can use paper towel. That's what I do in a pinch. Um, and you're going to want to place it over a uh, measuring bowl so that you can pour the liquid back into another mason jar. So you just put your paper towel or your cheesecloth in your strainer and you can't use just the strainer because the holes on the strainer are uh, big enough that your coffee grounds will slip through but now like I said if you're like my daughter you can totally leave the grounds in there and strain it as you get ready to use it but I like to keep mine in there with it ready to go on the fly so I can make a quick coffee. Okay, now that you have all of your coffee grounds drained off your liquid, you just pour it into a clean mason jar and store it in your refrigerator until you're ready to use. And like I said, this is a concentrate, so if you don't like super strong coffee, you dilute this with some water and put your heavy cream or your half and half, your creamers, your sugars, whatever you want. And for the recipe that you can print out with coffee suggestions and creamer suggestions, you can click the link in this video and it will take you straight over to the actual printable recipe. And enjoy making all your very own delicious coffee house coffees at home now that you have your own cold brew concentrate. Check you guys later. Bye. 